What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubist Corner. That's right. Every week on Sundays at 11 a.m. on ABC, you'll get to see me and my beautiful wife here talking about things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance and take your relationship to hopefully a whole new higher level, right? And even if you're not in a relationship, don't worry because you guys can store this knowledge tips and tricks and all this good info in the back of your mind so when you get into a new relationship you're going to set yourself up for success all the way through and through and if your partner's not reciprocating you might learn one way to help them start reciprocating very easily that you might not know before so this year you know we want to start off with new year's resolutions okay of course might, the brand new year brand new year right gotta have all kinds of new things we're gonna do yeah so i mean you know, this is something that's very common with everybody around the country and the world, I think, that every New Year's, you want to do a New Year's resolution. This is something that's going to, you know, hopefully motivate you or put you in some sort of direction to accomplish some sort of goal. And that goal could be weight loss, which is the number one New Year's resolution almost every single year, oh, and yeah. especially this year. Of course. That could be uh, accomplishing and getting a new job that can get a new fiance or a girlfriend or a boyfriend, whatever it is for you. Um, there's a lot of different resolutions out there. I want to be better. I want to be more punctual. I, you know, I want to do this. I want to have a dog, whatever it is. <laughs> right? So it's up to you to pick what this goal is. And that's ultimately what a new year's resolution is. It's a goal that you really, really want to achieve. Right. So let's put it in that uh, context, right? Yeah. As a goal. And you know, with this, what are you doing right now to prepare yourself or get yourself in line to be successful to achieve that goal? Mm -hmm. And whatever it may be, like I said, it could be weight loss, it could be this. So you really got to break down what it is, right? Focusing on that and then break down the little steps, A through Z per se, of what it's going to take for you to achieve that, right? To get that result. And, you know, with weight loss, there's a lot of different options out there. From Type Medical Center, we have semaglutide, we have AOD 9604, we have VCA Stack Plus, Titan Complete. Or just get your hormones checked, get everything right. Could be a Underlying thing, issue, could be you know. Thing, I right? love that. So, you know, you want to check into all these different options and make sure you're making a good, good decision about what you're going to do. So you want to make an educated decision. And that's where some of these different things like blood testing and such can really come into play for you to help you along the way to make an educated decision about where you want to go and is this going to ultimately help you achieve that goal. Um, you know, hormones are a big thing, like she just said, but we really need to look at some of the other things that we're doing, right? So if we're trying to achieve a healthier lifestyle, we want to take the pillars of a healthy lifestyle and I talk about these quite a bit. So we're talking about a nutritional plan, we're talking about activity of some sort, we're talking about sleep, right? Yeah, uh, sleep. And making sure. Sleep. I want to sleep. <laughs> it's a big one for people out there. People, a lot of people these days do not get enough sleep. Mm. And it ultimately affects them the next day and so on and so on. It could be for energy. It could be for mental clarity. Um, it could be for their body, right? Their body might be falling out of shape. It's because they're not getting enough sleep. That means, you know, they have bags underneath their eyes. Um, you know, they look real tired. Yeah, it's just not healthy altogether. You know, your body's not recovering and your body does need that time frame. I don't care if you're Superwoman or Superman and you're like, I could just operate on four hours of sleep. Yeah, you might think you can operate on four hours of sleep, but your body really 
needs more than four hours of sleep. I mean, right. you should get at least a minimum, minimum six to seven hours right. of sleep. You should try for that anyway. Right. So, I mean, you need to take this in consideration. Now, outside of that, the New Year's resolution is to have a better relationship. What are those steps going to look like, right? What are some of the different things that you're fumbling or were fumbling before that you're going to recuperate and start adding to what you're doing now? And that could be the simple things, right? Like putting down your phone. The, a, a great example of yesterday, mm. she's telling me about a girlfriend and a girlfriend, you know, is married and she wants to have you know, quality time with her spouse. But she says every time she tries to have quality time with her spouse, he's on the phone. And he won't put down the phone. So at that point, like, you know, what is the problem here? Well, it looks like it's the phone. The next thing is communication and communicating, hey, listen, this is a problem. Yeah, get right? off your phone. And, and you know, <laughs> basically get off your phone or whatever is the distraction, get away from it. So if you can recognize your faults, you can ultimately change what those problems are and make a negative into a positive. And if you say, hey, listen, I know I have a problem with the phone. So at that point, I know I need to put the phone down. And it might not be easy for some it's, people. It's like not, especially people that are entrepreneurs or they work multiple businesses. I mean, especially people that, I mean, I know personally, it's tough for me to put the phone down. It's because yeah. constantly, constantly going. However, I have finally come to terms, right? That a one hour dinner, right? In that one hour, unless you're having dinner at prime time, which is five o'clock, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone has dinner at five o'clock, okay? Except all the lucky people get to go home at three. Mm -hmm. But that's not us. Um, but you know, at dinner, let's say dinner's at seven or eight, right? One hour of uninterrupted time. And this is with you, your kids, right? Your husband. It might just be you and your boyfriend. It might be your fiance, whatever it might be. So that uninterrupted time is important and nothing's gonna happen in that hour that's gonna change the rest of the night, right? I mean, if it was an absolute emergency, then it's an emergency. Right. But not everything is an emergency, right? It's, it's gotta be like a 911 emergency. Mm -hmm. And nothing is really gonna happen in that hour. And you think it, it will, and the hour seems so long. But think about how much you are contributing by just putting the phone down for a minute and actually getting like a chance to talk to your significant other, right? Mm -hmm. Listen to what their day was like. Mm -hmm. If you don't care, just pretend, you know, listen to what's going on in their life. Listen to what, what happened for the day. Why don't you guys talk about something funny or you guys are going to have to talk about something, right? Mm -hmm. You guys can't have these silent relationships, yeah. right? The silent relationships are the worst, right? You got these people and I see it all the time because we go to dinner, right? And John and I, that's like a big thing to me. I've always told him like, put the phone down while we're at dinner. Mm -hmm. Like this is our time. That's it. But you'll see people like, you know, at different tables and stuff and they're there alone and they're on their phones. Like they're not even looking at each other, they're looking down and they're on their phones like this. I'm like, wow, that must be a very interesting conversation, you know? So uh, listen, you gotta find a way to be able to conversate and, and be able to talk to each other and that's how you create the bond, you know? You're not gonna have communication if you don't communicate. Yep. So put your phone down, it's not, that, not that serious. I promise nothing's gonna happen in an hour. And it's, it's one thing, you know, when you've been in a relationship for a long time and you're doing this, and that's still a problem, right? Especially if your spouse thinks it's a problem. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is, is like, when you're doing going on a first date, I've heard of people doing this on first dates. Well, obviously you must be bored. I mean, but, I mean that's that's what you would give off, right? But they say they're not. But I have to, I have, I have this to do. I have to be a, like, totally in the mix. Like, that's not a good excuse. Well, then make the date for another time. It's just not a good excuse. You know, make the date for a different day where you can allocate a window of one hour to talk to your date, get to know your date. I mean, it's the worst thing in the world when somebody's talking to you. And you're getting, this is the answer. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm, yeah, sure, yeah, okay, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, uh, really? Ask, like, do you know what I was talking about? Uh, of course I do. Yeah, he, 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 he just has one ear open. It's just, it's, this is not fair. He doesn't count, okay? Right. But <laughs> to regurgitate the whole conversation, that might be a different story as to what did I just say? <laughs> I'm pretty good there, too. <laughs> Pretty good. Story. What, did I, what did I just say? All right, just it's important it. though, you know, it's like, and that's a rule me and John have, right? right? We implemented it a while ago. That, hey, listen, when we're at dinner, especially if we're like, because we never get to go anywhere and do anything anymore. I'm like, you cannot be on the phone because there is nobody except for our kid that's more important than me right now. So because of that, the phone is irrelevant. And that's kind of the thought process that you should have when it comes to being with a significant other, right? I agree, I agree totally. I mean, it's really, really important to do. It's really important to give the significant other attention. Whether you're first starting your date, or you've been in a relationship for 20 years, 
right? It's always work. And, you know, a relationship is another job. It really is. Yeah. And, you know, you're like, well, I don't get paid from being in a relationship, but you really do. Yeah. You get paid with love, love care, affection. Uh, yeah, the affection, all these different things. That's what you're getting paid with. And that's what you should be reciprocating with, too, as well. Um, and it only works if both parties are reciprocating to each other. True. It doesn't work when it's a one way street. Then somebody always feels like they're the odd man down or they're the low man in the totem pole. I right. mean, it just, they're like, well, oh. and some, the, the low man in the totem pole might love the person on top. That person on top really doesn't care. Or they think, well, this is what it is, and I'll just go about my business. Or they just might take it for granted. That's a good one right there. Right? So, just take it for granted, like, oh, it doesn't matter what I do, what I say, or how I am. Yeah. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. Don't think that. So, guys, take this information for what it is. And your New Year's resolution, whatever it is, make sure you're planning to attack that so you can accomplish that resolution, whether it's weight loss, relationships, your job, your body, whatever it is. Don't just talk about it. You gotta be about it. You gotta be about it. You gotta be about it. So plan the steps. Write them down on a sheet of paper and attack each one. Don't look at the full picture. Attack each and every single little goal so you accomplish the ultimately big goal. So that's it, guys. That's the show for you guys. We're it's gonna... never it. We're gonna be back next week. We'll be back next week. <laughs> 11 a.m. ABC. Make sure you stay tuned. Tune in live or DVR us. And if you don't get to do that, don't worry because we play the shows on our social medias, Facebook, Instagram. And don't forget, all of our shows are on YouTube. Just type in Titan Medical Center. Go press the subscribe button. Hit the all notification bell and you'll get to see all these cool shows and a lot, lot more cool content with me and my wife and a lot of the other cool Titan and Titanettes. We appreciate you guys. and We'll see you next Sunday on Cupid's Corner with me and my wife, the beautiful Sharice, of course. See you then.